you first open your Pro 800D wire and valve locator, check to make sure that all necessary items are included. The complete kit consists of an instruction manual, a receiving wand, a set of black and red connecting leads, a Pro H1 mono headset, a ground stake, The 8D batteries for the transmitter need to be connected before the locator can be used. To do this, unscrew the battery compartment cover screws and remove the cover. Inside, you will find battery wells that hold 8D batteries. Place the batteries in the holders. Make sure the correct polarity is maintained according to the markings on the case. Replace the cover and replace the screws. There are marked power on and low battery indicator LED lights on the transmitter. The low battery indicator LED will light when the battery power has been diminished. The light will illuminate at approximately 10 volts and as the power gets weaker, the LED will continue to dim. A 9 volt battery is needed for the receiver. To install this battery, remove the battery compartment cover located on the back top portion of the Pro 800D receiver. Install the 9 volt battery by connecting it to the battery boot inside the battery compartment. Don't yank or pull hard on the battery boot. Replace the battery cover. To test that the batteries have been installed correctly, turn each unit on. LEDs will light on both if the batteries have been connected correctly. If not, repeat the installation procedures. When the 9 volt battery in the receiver has reached a level of approximately 7 volts, the low battery LED will come on. There is also a power output indicator on the transmitter and a selector for normal and broadcast modes. In the next segment, we will show you how to ground the unit with a provided ground stake. Before connecting the ground, make sure the transmitter power is off. Disconnect the wire you wish to trace and the common wire from the clock. With the transmitter off, connect the black alligator lead to the included ground stake the red alligator lead to the wire you want to trace. Insert the ground stake into the soil perpendicular to the path of the wire and as far from the transmitter as possible. Do not use common grounds such as pipes or electrical grounds unless you have no other choice. Make sure the transmitter and receiver are both in the normal mode for direct connection of the alligator leads. Turn the Pro 800D transmitter on. Adjust the power output knob and increase the power until a reading between 4 and 8 is achieved. If you cannot achieve a reading of 4, turn the unit off and retry your grounding operation. Turn on the Pro 800D receiver by turning the volume knob on the front of the wand. Place the receiver near the operating Pro 800D transmitter. A beeping sound should be heard indicating that the receiver is working properly. A high-pitched tone could indicate that you are too close to the receiver 
or your batteries are low. A fading or scratchy signal indicates low battery. After connecting and turning on the transmitter and the receiver, point the receiver toward the ground in the direction of the cable and listen for the beeping signal. There are two optional methods for reception of the signal, null or peak. The Pro 800D receiver defaults to null every time it is turned on. The volume control on the front of the receiver controls the volume for both the headphones and the external speaker. The analog meter on the front of the receiver will indicate the reception level visually. Null means an absence of signal when pointed directly at the cable in question, and louder to the left and or right of it by a few inches. In the null mode, as you approach a wire, the signal will intensify. If you are slightly to the left or right, the signal will be loudest, but pointing the receiver directly at the cable produces virtually no sound. In this way, you will know the exact location of the wire or cable being traced. Peak means the opposite, that the signal is loudest over the cable. You may select which mode suits you best. You can also find the approximate depth of the wire. First, trace the path of the wire. Then step to the left or right of the wire path and hold the receiver at a 45 degree angle, pointing towards the wire. Find the angle that produces the peak signal and use that angle along with the wire position to triangulate an approximate depth. If you want to find a particular valve, connect the red lead of the transmitter to the station wire leading to that valve, and the black to the ground. Connect the Pro 800D and begin. When you reach the point where a valve or solenoid is located, the signal will expand to an approximate 2 to 4 foot area of signal. This is your indication that you are over a valve or solenoid. Reducing the volume on the wand while over the valve will help to pinpoint the valve location more accurately. An alternative method for finding solenoids is available. To use this method, the user must know the path of wire either from previous tracing or previous knowledge. It is important to note that this technique only creates signal at the solenoid and not along the wire path. Instead of connecting the black lead to the earth ground, attach it to the common wire that runs to the valve. Then the red lead is connected to the station wire. In this manner, the user is creating a loop running from the red lead to the solenoid and using the common wire as the return instead of the earth. This creates a very low resistance loop, so very little power is needed. 
start by using power level 1. After this technique has been set up, either follow the wire path or go to the suspected solenoid area. While you may hear faint sounds from the wire, the solenoid will maintain its loud response and make it easier to locate the solenoid. Broadcast mode is different from using the direct method of connection. Broadcast mode is excellent for finding telephone or cable TV lines as they exist. Broadcast mode uses an inductive antenna located in the transmitter case to broadcast a signal around the case to an approximate 25 foot radius in all directions. Place both the transmitter and receiver in the broadcast mode by selecting broadcast on the selector switch. Place the Pro 800D transmitter on the ground over the cable you wish to trace and turn it on. Do not tightly shut the transmitter case as it will turn the transmitter off. The transmitter is now inducing signal approximately 25 feet from it and energizing any conductors in that field. You may now trace any conductor that has picked up that signal. When the user is within 25 feet of the transmitter, you cannot trace a cable because the signal from the case itself will overpower the induced cable signal.